the these moments were were difficult, and at the I think at the best of it, it was difficult. And there were several moments I think for me personally, just to be honest, uh, brought a tear to my eye. It was, it was, it's really hard to listen to. No, it it is. Um, it's it's the kind of details that really weigh on your heart that take you. You know, it's it just it hurts. It hurts because you know that they're just kids. It 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 hurts just on a human level. Mm-hmm. It it hurts, and I think to see how and forgive me I don't I don't feel like I have the right words I think to see how disrespectfully their bodies were treated mm-hmm. even after they were murdered the I think the details of like the duct tape over over JJ mm-hmm. yeah um just being put in with like the plastic bags the 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 duct tape over his hands um i think it just it hurts it it hurts on a on a very human level yeah no it it's it's hard to even think about the level of dehumanization that that had to be going on in chad daybell's mind or lori vallow's mind to be able to to not only think this up and have that premeditation but to actually act it out in the way that it happened absolutely and then i think um I think the part with with Ty Lee, where clearly, clearly, um, whether it was it was Chad or Lori or Alex, uh, who was trying to essentially trying to cremate mm-hmm. um, yeah. the remains, not realizing that a crematorium, a cremation oven, can get to like, what is it, ten thousand degrees? It takes to. Yeah, I get actually yes. do that. You're not gonna do this in your your fireplace. You're not gonna successfully cremate a body in the the backyard fire pit. No, backwoods creation or cremation. It's not gonna work. It's not. And the details of so, some of the things Detective Hermosillo said that I think really hurt, that well, really stuck out. Well, I mean, because his detailed account, it really shows. I mean, because it does, it details how the detectives found J.J. and Tylee, but it also shows how these detectives went about exhuming them from that spot. And when when you listen to the court audio and, and Hermosillo talking us through what he saw, looking through his eyes, I think that that hits even harder. Uh, absolutely. I think, I think really understanding when and how much care and mm-hmm. effort these detectives all all yeah. put into this when Hermosillo describes when they first had found Tylee's remains that the smell coming yeah. out of out of the hole was so bad that they could only dig for a minute or two and then they were having to switch because yeah. the it, the smell was overwhelming them but the fact that they continued on right these are I mean and, and from these details, too, like having the two white rocks on top of kind of a, a plywood. I mean, this was, this was, I'm inter- I'm just interested to know what Chad thought he was doing. Right. Because all of this is very off base from what you normally see for murders. Yeah, I think something that stood out to me as well was that in the, the bag with mm. JJ, there was a blanket placed yeah. over him. Now, again, we're not detectives, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but from my years of watching uh, NCIS and, yeah. you know, every other courtroom or, or you know, police procedural, um, I think that mean, that is somebody who is, I, I don't want to say that it's necessarily a sign of remorse, putting an item that the, the child cared about or the person cared about, mm-hmm. But it it does seem to indicate some level of affection that, like, if you're a murderer murdering someone you don't know, you're not necessarily going to go get their favorite blanket to bury them well, with. And that's the thing. With this case being so sinister in the way that these, these kids were found, and then that, that, t- that, that touch of humanity almost uh, amidst all of this, it, yeah, no, it just it makes your stomach, it just, ugh, it just makes your soul sick.